Caroline, uh, as we all know, everyone is talking about emotional intelligence, and I believe you are an expert in that field because you have a podcast called Emotional, emotional Intelligent Recruiter. So from your expertise, from all your interviews that you have done, what can you tell us to recruiters on how to use emotional intelligence when trying to hire top talent or trying to find talent for companies? Mm. Well, first of all, thank you for saying, saying that I'm an emotional intelligence expert. I have to say there are many greater, wiser experts out there, that, such as Daniel Goleman, uh, Dr. Stephen Stein, who have spent decades working on this. So I feel like I'm a bit of a newbie, but I very much focus on ensuring that HR and recruiters and people who are evolving in, in their in their roles are really able to uh, understand what their emotional intelligence uh, operating system is like. So they're able to see where the opportunities for development are and for the and for the areas that uh, that, that, that they're going to trip them up um, for, for being successful. Uh, so in terms of how recruiters can adapt rather i don't like to use the term use i like to use the, the term to be able to adapt their emotional intelligence because too often we think we are fixed this is how we are uh dan gilbert who uh did the most fantastic ted talk on on the on the topic and i encourage everybody to go and watch that is how we mistakenly think we are affixed, we're done, there is no work that needs to be doing. But what happens is you maybe put, uh, uh, you project for yourself, okay, I want to do this in 10 years time. Too often we're able to do it in a much faster, at a much faster pace. So my, my guidance really to recruiters and people in HR and anybody that's potentially watching this is that you are going to have certain behaviors and characteristics that you will probably feel are fixed in your emotional intelligence, how you handle uh, individuals that you're working with, what, what comes up for you, uh, whether it's uh, jealousy, rage, um, shyness, uh, inability to trust people, um, uh, the whatever syndromes you, you may necessarily have and the reality is is that if you're able to do an, an, an assessment and there are then the assessments are very very reasonably priced uh to do an assessment on what your current emotional intelligence inventory is looking like you're able to see how you show up with candidates how you show up with hiring managers how you show up with your colleagues how you show up in all of those different spheres. And this goes for any human on the planet. So what happens is once you can identify where you are, you're able to evolve. But some quick tricks, because really, you know, we want people to have something to take away right now. Um, the, the number one thing, and people really hate this because it, people, it has a bad uh, reputation, which is that people often lack empathy. Mm -hmm. And people are saying, oh, I don't want to be all smoochy coochie. And that's not what it's about. It's about being able to understand what the other person is going through. So as a recruiter, you're dealing with somebody that uh, maybe has been out of work for six months. Think about how they're feeling, how they are going to be jumping uh, to the conclusion that, that maybe their, 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 their self-regard might be particularly low because they haven't been able to successfully get a job. What that means is that they may be cut. They may not be particularly respectful towards you. That may not be their blueprint on how they deal with people. Uh, that just may be their current situation until they're able to find work. Uh, so being able to understand that and being able to go in there with curiosity mm -hmm. and be able to say, it sounds like you've had a really tough time. Mm. What is it that you really like about this role rather than being potentially curt because yeah. you're not going to, you, you may already have the uh, understanding or belief that they're not immediately yeah. a fit because of, of their personality type. So sometimes just breaking through that mm. is going to be particularly helpful. But as recruiters, sometimes we always have this sixth sense or we always have to judgment correctly within that 30 minutes that we are doing interview or even phone interview or face to face. We want to make sure that there's a cultural fear, there's alignment. And sometimes we go into judgment uh, very quickly. But I feel that empathy, uh, curiosity and good listening, there are also some skills that as a recruiter we should have because that's becoming also a uh, very important uh, skills to have. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you nailed it. Thank you so much for, for articulating it in that way, because it's, it's so important. And listening, it, it, I, I remember going through the very beginning of, of listening and just allowing the person to be able to just go on and 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 on. And really, you're doing the best thing for the individual, let's say the candidate, whereby you're saying, OK, let me just stop you there. Uh, what, this is what I'm learning from what you're saying. And then interjecting with another question, uh, because again, some, sometimes a candidate may be nervous and we're talking about more junior candidates or maybe more senior candidates who are suddenly lost. Maybe they've been in a role for 10 years, 20 years, and they have no idea on how to pitch themselves anymore. So, but they're that amazing golden unicorn. So it's really a case of, of listening and, and learning how to listen and how to interject and how to summarize what somebody is saying. So you're then able to get to the really good stuff. Any courses or assessment that you teach or you know that will be good for recruiters that you can recommend? Yes, absolutely. Well, I've, I feel like I'm doing a major plug here. So thank you for the opportunity. So uh, as, as I, I have a, a training program called the Emotionally Intelligent Recruiter, as well as other training programs for executives, one of the things that we do is focus on um, the individual recruiter. We've got courses. They just have to go to theforward.co to be able to get themselves assessed from an emotional, in, in, uh, emotional intelligence inventory uh, 2.0. Uh, program and then they can either be personally trained which you know let's face it it's not going to be cheap yeah. alternatively I can be brought into an organization to help those organizations evolve their recruiters but there would be that additional problem solving of, of exactly what is going on within the company uh, to be able to enhance that and then last but not least there's there's, there's uh, there are the courses that people can take at a much more reasonable price oh, thank you Caroline for sharing that I'll put the link in the uh, in the in the video thank you and and for the audience, if liking, if you have any other tips in terms of emotional intelligence and how recruiters can benefit, please leave it a comment in the in the comment section. Uh, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Caroline.